Welcome gamers to Super Smash Games. I'm your host Steven and uh, today we're gonna be reviewing a game that needs no introduction But I'm gonna give you one anyway This is E.T. the Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600 Many know this game for being the worst game of all time Some of you may be saying well Steven why is this game so bad? Well Atari paid about 20 to 25 million dollars for the rights for this movie or for this game as you know It was a big budget movie uh, Steven Spielberg uh, Made rolled in a lot of cash. So hey, let's you know Make a lot of money off it video games It sold only 1.5 million of the four produced now. That's actually a large amount But we don't know is most of the people who bought the game sent it back to the company uh, and it, it really contributed to the bankruptcy of Atari, which was $536 million of debt. So, now that you know the game's crappy, let's see why the game is so crappy. Oh, and one more thing. All the copies that weren't bought by the public were buried somewhere in a desert in New Mexico or something. That's how bad this game really is. Okay, I'm kicking right in. I'm in my spaceship that is purple for some reason and is really, really small. Right off the bat, you'll tell that there are some intense graphics in this game and amazing sound effects. Now, let me just give you a demonstration. These things, they may look like random green blobs, but oh, they are not random green blobs. They are holes with random objects that I still... Okay, that's a flower that I just magically made grow. Now, the only way to get out of this is to extend your neck and float. Because everyone knows that, you know, E.T. has levitating powers. You know, we, we saw that in the movie. You know, because... Yeah, I, I don't know why they even put that in the game. Okay, um, you just experienced one of the crappiest things. I was just jacked by some, like, doctor dude and put into a jail, I think. Either that or, like, a Roman Colosseum or Greek Colosseum. Alright, getting chased by another doctor. I don't even... See, look at that transition. What the crap was that? Where did I just come from? I don't know. All I know... I Look, I can boost. That's cool. There are two of these things... I, d I don't know what they do, honestly. They're just buildings. And so I just run around and collect these. Now, you think, yeah, this game isn't horrible. I mean, I've seen a lot worse games. You know, I, but the problem was for its time, it was just this huge hype. So when you get this game that just sucks uncontrollably, yeah, people are going to send it back to the company. And I totally didn't touch that hole. I'm going to show you something funny. When you keep holding up, like, the up button, you're just going to keep following the hole. So I'm, I'm press holding up, levitating out, boom, fall back in the hole. Why? I don't know. So when you get up, you have to honestly stop touching any buttons and then, like, move in a random direction. I... What, the, what just happened there? Okay, I'm going to try and get out. Weird things flash on the top of the uh, screen, too, as you can see. Like, it's pointing this way, and then it has a three question mark. This one makes sense. It's telling me to go up. That one actually makes some sense. So I'm just running around. I don't, see, transitions confuse me. A lot. I don't know how to get to certain areas of, of the map. I just... I'm gonna... Okay, that's cool. I just learned that. And I just fell in the hole. Apparently, you go up to those weird green areas, and they're not trees. They're... I don't even know what they are. But they get me here. And that's all that matters. So they throw me in here and just bring me back. And as you can see, there's a counter on the ground. Or on the bottom, sorry, of the screen. That counter is pretty much... you. It, when, it, when you move, the time runs lower. So... The dude just stole all of my... Ugh. So pretty much, I'll show you what happens in a minute when you run empty. Still running. The doctor's after me. Doctors just take you back to the weird Greek pantheon. 
And these dudes will actually steal your stuff, and it is really annoying. Most people wouldn't even get to the point of realizing, you know, what it does until they throw their cart into the of the TV, or send it back to the company. But throwing it into a TV is so much cooler to tell your friends. So, wow, this is a new place, never been here. Um, everything is kind of the same. You, it's just repetitive. Weird looking stuff, and I don't even know. This, can't, this game confuses me to no end. I, I don't even... Oh man, this game just sucks. Don't ever buy it. You know what? No. Buy this game. Go buy it. I want you to. D buy it for like two bucks at a yard sale. And then experience its horror. Everyone's always like, don't buy this game. No, I want you to buy this game. Okay? Because this needs to be a game you've played. So that every time someone makes an E.T., you know exactly what they're talking about. Oh, man. This is just trash. This would be like a perfect game for a watch. You know, like one of those... Game & Watch was like a billion times fun than this. This is the Atari 2600. I mean, seriously. I know the graphics weren't intense, but come on. He extends his neck. How does that uh, teleport him into different dimensions? Man, I'm so confused. Alright, watch. I'm gonna fall in this hole. And some dude who looks like a puppet. Well, you know, the puppet dudes. You know, never mind. So he gives you like, you know, 1,500 new points. I don't even know why he comes or how he comes or what triggers that. But it does it somehow. So, alright, after, after researching a little bit, I actually found out what happens is you collect like nine or something, and you go to the very beginning, and you, you know, the, your mothership picks you up or something, and then you get teleported back to the same exact area with the same exact difficulty, and you just have to redo everything over again. And, but you keep the same points. And frankly, I don't even see any points. I don't, I don't even know what... I got my information from Wikipedia. If you want more on this game, go look at Wikipedia. Uh, it'll be much, much more entertaining than playing this game. I don't... Oh, man. You know what? Just... Hmm. I even have anything to say. So, uh, yeah. Check this game out if, if you really want to experience its horridness. If you have a phobia of crappy games, steer clear. Because you'll definitely be checking out the doctor. This is E.T. for the Atari 2600. Worst game of all time. With your host, Steven, from Smash Attack Games. Signing out. I'm dead. And he's still carrying me.